Hey guys, Lane Vids here, and this channel is all about family and family fun. And what are we going to do today? Make an art project at the library. <laughs> We're not going to make an art project. We are going to have a science day. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to learn about the human body. So if y'all guys want more videos from us, make sure to click that subscribe button. But right now, let's go to the library and learn. Not right now. Not right my now? Shoe. Oh gosh, put your shoe on! Welcome to Little Scientist. Today we're going to be learning all about body science. So we're going to go from our teeth and our mouth all the way to our stomach and our heart and our lungs and even our fingerprints. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. We might even get a little messy. Is that okay with you? Yeah, if you get a little messy. Put your hand on your chest and I want you to take a deep breath in. So when we breathe in, the air goes down our esophagus, our windpipe, into our lungs and they expand. Now, at the bottom of our lungs, we have a muscle called the diaphragm. And we're going to pretend like this is our diaphragm right here. You see this balloon in the middle, the black balloon? Yeah. Pretend like that's your lung. And this is our windpipe. So this is your neck, our lungs down here. This is our diaphragm. Whenever our lungs fill up with air, our diaphragm has to move down to make room for it. So it moves down and it fills up with air. See how it got bigger? And when the diaphragm goes back up, the air is pushed out of the lungs, and it goes back to being the normal size. So we're gonna pretend like this is our lung, okay? So when we breathe into the bag, that's gonna be when we're taking in air, and the bag's gonna be bigger like our lungs. And when we breathe out, that's like whenever our lungs, when we breathe out and our lungs um, deflate, okay? So breathe into your bag, make it big. If you want to hang on to your paper bag, give it to your parent or caregiver. Everyone, put your hand on your chest. Can you feel your heart beating? Can you feel it go ba bump ba bump? Let's get real quiet for a second, real quiet and still. Can you feel your heart beat? Yes. We're gonna do ten jumping jacks. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, are you ready to do some jumping jacks? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's get quiet and still and fill our heartbeat again. Is it faster or slower? Slower. It's slower? I feel my heart beating even faster. That's because when we work hard and we play hard, that means that our um, body needs more oxygen and blood throughout it. So our heart beats even faster so it can work twice as hard to get blood everywhere. So that's why our heart beats faster because we need more blood than we normally have throughout our body. Can you see all those little no lines? one else has fingerprints yeah. like you. My fingerprints yeah. are not the same as your fingerprints. Your fingerprints are not the same as your sister's fingerprints. Arch? And more, you think so? What kind of fingerprint do you think you're going to have? An arch, a loop, or a whirl? A whirl? Mm, maybe so. If we're about to find out. Tap it on there. Then tap it on here first. Then match it up to the right finger. Press it on there. This is Lift. Ooh. Look at what mine look like. Wow, are they different? Can you do another one? Look at that. Pick it up. You got fingerprints. So I want you to open your Ziploc bag. Put two to three crackers in your Ziploc bag. We're moving on to the stomach. So we're going to talk about how the stomach digests your food. So we chew it up in our mouth and it goes down to our stomach and it continues to get smushed up into smaller and smaller pieces, right? It becomes this big, liquidy, goopy mixture. So we're going to do that right now. So this water is going to be our saliva. What do you think? We have our food. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. You can seal it real good, parents. We want to double sure check on this part. When it's sealed, I want you to mush it up. Mush it up. We don't want to break the bag, but mush it up. And this is going to be our teeth breaking up our food. Let me see your bags. 
Hold the mic. Now, you tell me, does it look like it did a minute ago? Does it look the same? No, it looks very different. So, whenever you chew your food and the saliva makes it all mushy and it goes down your esophagus, that's what it looks like. It gets all broken up and smushed and everything and it what goes you into your that? stomach. Now, parents, there's a bottle of Coke on the thing. This is going to be our stomach juice. So, whenever we, our stomach is a big old muscle and it cracks and it breaks up the food and it has a stomach acid, gastric juices that help break down the food even further. So let's open our bag and squirt some soda in there. That's going to be our stomach juices. Uh, just squirt a little bit in there. Go a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, good. Oh, now my stomach juice over here. Yeah. Yeah, now seal it. Seal it up. Seal it up. Told y'all we're getting gross today. <laughs> yeah. okay, Run your finger across there. Make sure it's sealed. We're going to mush it some more. And that's going to be our stomach muscle working. Oh, mush it. Mush it. Mush it. Mush mush it. it. And those stomach juices, that Coke is going to help break it down more. Mush it. Can I do some mushing? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Mush it. Mush it. Mush it. Oh. You gonna do some? Oh, mush it, mush it, mush it. Okay, and stop mushing, stop breaking. Now hold your bag up. Does it look the same as it did a few seconds ago? No. It's broken down even more, right? It's even more goopy and liquidy and soft, right? And that's what our stomach continues to make our food as small as possible and as liquidy, as much liquid as possible. That way it can continue to pass through our system. Okay, we're gonna throw away our gross food now, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna take our blood. What color did we say our blood was? Red. Red, okay. So our blood at the base is plasma. Right? Do you know what makes our blood red? Our red blood cells. We're going to pretend like these are red blood cells, okay? What blood cells? Blood cells, there's the part that makes up our blood. So we have three things in our blood. We have our white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. And we're going to learn all over those. So everybody's going to get one. So whenever you're ready, you can drop wow. it in the white bucket. That feels like blood. Feels like blood. Oh, can you get it? Like blood. So whenever you're ready, you can drop it into the white bucket. We're all going to add some red blood cells. Did everyone get a red blood cell to add? No, you got one? Okay, yeah, drop it in the white put bucket. In the bucket. Yeah. Put it in the bucket. And I'm going to add the rest of them. Ooh, it's all so, so we have oh, our no, red. So I can squish this. You can squish thing. it. Okay, put it in the white bucket. Every, oh, now you have to. Okay. Now next, slightly bigger, probably not as big as a ping pong would be in relation and compared to these but slightly bigger than red blood cells. We have white blood cells. Now our red blood cells carry the oxygen through our body. The white blood cells, have you ever been sick? You ever had a cold? So sometimes we get sick, right? But our white blood cells help keep us healthy. They fight bacteria and viruses. And then next we have our platelets. You see the foam? These are gonna be our platelets. And have you ever maybe fallen down, scraped like up your to knee? Have a plate right I'm gonna take them here, okay? Yeah? Have you ever maybe gotten a little cut and it scabs over? Yes. Yeah, and as Sarah's getting over one right now, I cut myself. So our platelets in our blood is what makes our scabs form. So they help heal cuts. So these are our platelets. So this is what we have in our blood. Now this is just, I have two big buckets for you to play with. So I want y'all to spread out on the carpet and I'm gonna put out the big buckets of fake blood for y'all to get messy with, okay? Whenever you see your blood, you have red blood cells, you have platelets, you have white blood cells, and you have your plasma. So you can play with it. We have spots over in this bucket if you want. Watch out for younger siblings. All right, guys, we learned a little bit about the human body. That was super cool. Daddy. Different like experiment type things you can do to help teach your kids Daddy, about it. Do your balance? Oh yeah, my balance. Oh, I got a good balance. Oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> I got bad balance, huh? Well, you got good practice. balance. Watch me. I try and go real fast. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, wow, you're good. So that was super cool, just some easy things that you can do or create to help teach your kids about the human body. Um, if you guys want more family-friendly videos from us, uh, please click that subscribe button. We always appreciate a good thumbs up. We're all about having fun as a family and doing fun stuff and learning and traveling. You like to travel? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for being Shaggy <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and thanks for being Shaggy Shank! Keep another check right here.